Simply Food by T.Y. As a quick word from our sponsors, I would like to give a big, big thank you to the folks over at Symphonio for hooking your boy up with their Simpot, their pressure cooker. You guys, I'm so excited to test out this product, and I hope you guys sit back, enjoy the video, and hey, by the end, get yourself one. Hey y'all, it's your boy Simply Food by TY. Look, today I am doing a product review and I have to give a big, big shout out to the folks over at Symphonia who have sent me out their eight quart Simpot pressure cooker. You guys, I am so excited to do this unboxing video with you guys and then put this bad boy to the test so that I can let y'all know if it's worth the money. Now, this particular one is $118 and I got this on Amazon. They also have a six quart one, I think, which is significantly cheaper, but they sent me over the eight quart. I have not opened this, so I don't know what's all inside. So we're going to do that together. Let's go. So as you guys can see, it comes in a nice box with a handle, which is great because this is pretty heavy. Let me turn it this way. We can open it up, open it up. I hope everyone is having a fabulous day, a fabulous day. All right. So on the top, we have a bag here with a little ring and let me open this up and I will tell you guys so this is kind of like a like a rubber material this lines the top of the pot um, now I was reading the reason why a lot of people love the fact that they give you an extra one of these is because if you're cooking sweets in your pressure cooker. Sometimes the pressure cooker can take on the flavor of that. You have an extra one so that you can swap out the savory from the sweet. So that's great to know. I'm gonna put this on the table and I'll show you guys up close everything as well. We have a little note here that says customer service card, Symphonia Design. So this is pretty much them just saying thank you, um, you know, for taking the chance on trying out their products and all of their social media links. So it's a little card there. We'll set that down over on this side. Then we have our phone here. And then here it is. Oh my God, you guys, this thing is huge, huge, huge. Okay guys, so now that we've gotten this out of the box, let's open it up. And then I'm gonna take everything out. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna do a close-up shot so that you guys can see how this um, LED screen works up close and personal. But first, let's just open it up. Okay, so the top comes off. The top does have a little bit of weight to it, but it's not too entirely heavy. So if you're wondering what I was talking about when I said there's a piece on the inside, you probably can't see it because of the reflection of the lights. But if I tip it, this part where I'm running, my hands right now, this white part, this can come out, that can be replaced. So if you want to use this one that comes with it for your savory, and then use the red one for the sweet, you can do that. Or you can just, you know, mix it up. That's completely up to you. But I've seen that that's the way a lot of people have been doing it. So that's the top. As you guys can see here, this here is the pressure release button. Um, this little red button here, will come up and let you guys know when it is ready to go or you can manually release it yourself with this little valve and that just simply turns so we'll set that top to the side okay oh lovely okay so it also comes with it looks like a measuring cup here so it also comes with a measuring cup and then it also comes with a spatula and spoon for rice because of course a lot of times people love these so that they can make rice because if you're like me I can't make rice to save my life so this is actually great to have so we'll set that to the side Let's see oh these okay so these here you guys are two or it looks to appears to be two yep this is two silicone temperature resistant gloves so that you can take stuff out of the pressure cooker without burning your hands. So this is actually really, really nice. I will say, I have not seen many pressure cooker companies that um, include these. A lot of them do include the rice, um, the materials to prepare rice, but I don't see them often give these. So this is a bonus here. So that's lovely. And then, let's see. Oh, okay, great. So, also something that this particular company offers that not a lot of the other ones do 
is they actually also have a lining pot as well that is slightly raised. Let me just turn it. That is also slightly raised on the bottom with four corners here. So that way, if you choose to make vegetables in this or let's say you're roasting off a chicken or you know, a pot roast or something and you want to add some broth to it, but you don't necessarily want the meat to sit in the broth, you can put your meat inside of this here. And then when you sit this in the pan, this won't touch the bottom of the pan and that moisture can circulate to go through the food, which is also great. So this is lovely. Also for us mukbangers who do seafood boils, this is the best because we can put our shrimp, potatoes, corn, and all that stuff in here, dump it out, boom, done. So that's lovely. And then this here is the actual eight quart container itself, which is actually a really, really nice size. To be honest with you, I feel like you could probably fit two small chickens in here, to be honest. But that's just, that's just me. Um, but this is the actual full size eight um, quart. Um, and then on the inside, it gives you measurements so that you can see how much water you can put in. Um, 14 cups or six liters, but they have a lining on the inside that says max so that you'll know where not to put the water anymore. Um, and then that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna plug this up and then give you guys a close up view of how this screen works. And then we're gonna head in the kitchen and then we're gonna actually put this to the test because I purchased a chicken, a whole chicken that we're gonna pop in this basket and we're gonna cook it off. And we're just gonna see, you know, how great they are, how easy it is to use. I'm not a person that's ever used a pressure cooker before, so this will be perfect for anyone else who is nervous about using them. This is also my very first time, so we are going to experience this together. So I'll see you guys in a moment. Alrighty guys, so as you guys can see, I have our Sim Pot on, and now I'm just gonna go through um, all of the options that they have and how to use it. So as you guys can see, there's a poultry option, soup, beans and chili, porridge, cake, eggs, slow cook, rice. There's just a standard pressure cooking method. There's also a saute option, steam, and yogurt. Now, as you guys can see, this here, this unit here in the center, that's how you turn the machine. But if you're not careful, you can easily go past the one that you want. So you do have to really take your time and make sure that you're only turning it once, but that's something that you'll completely get used to. Um, now, what you see here, medium and high, that's a representation of the pressure temperature, whether it's gonna be on medium and a high heat or, you know, slow. So you can do pressure level, which is low and high. And then for taste and temperature, you can do it on low, medium, or high. So when we go downstairs and I go do the poultry, what I'm gonna do is, cause I just wanna see how it cooks with what it suggests, which is medium and high. I'm gonna just do it on that. I'm gonna hit start and then that's pretty much it. Um, I will say I have noticed that if you don't touch the screen for a certain amount of time, it will kind of go back into neutral mode. So you kind of do need to make up your mind relatively quick on which setting you want or at least have everything ready to go so that you can just push the button and then you'll start. Um, but that's pretty much how you use the screen. So as you guys can see, it just turned off for us. Um, Okay, let's stop being obnoxious. Um, but yeah, so as you guys can see, when you don't touch it for a long amount of time, it will automatically turn off on its own, especially if you have not selected anything. So let's head down to the kitchen, let's get this chicken in there, and then we're gonna see how it tastes in what looks like only about 15 minutes. So you guys, the chicken turned out absolutely lovely. It had a lot of moisture, it was not dried out at all, as you guys can see, I've added some carrots, I've added some potatoes. It turned out quite nice, and I only added roughly about a half a cup of chicken stock at the bottom of the pressure cooker. Um, I would definitely say, without a doubt, make sure that you guys check out this company. I think they're actually quite decently priced. I think for as large as this pressure cooker is, and for the amount of functions that it serves, I definitely think that it is worth a chance of trying it, especially if you've never had one. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And as always, y'all babies stay cute.
and take care. Bye, guys. Simply Food by T.Y.